so moving on to our next part which is sound editing software okay so sound editing software allows users to edit audio files or to join together different audio files in order to create multi track music or soundtracks for video okay so simply speaking if you want to edit an audio track if you want to make some changes to an audio track the best category of software you can use is sound editing software okay and the sound editing software i have given you two examples one is audacity and another one called adobe audition okay so these are examples of sound editing software when you have to edit a music track if you have to edit an audio track this will be your best choice of software okay now generally in your exam papers if they ask you what is the best type of software to edit a soundtrack don't ever mention the brand names okay always mention the category sound editing software is the best for editing music tracks so if they ask you for example what is the best type of software for calculations you will write spreadsheet software don't ever write microsoft excel okay because generally in your exams they do not want you mentioning any brand names they only want you to mention the categories okay so then we come on to presentation software okay so this software allows users to create engaging multimedia content including images text animation and video so if you have a large amount of information that you want to present to an audience and you want that information to be presented in a very organized manner then your best uh, choice is to go for presentation software so this content can be placed on slides or pathways that are used to illustrate and support the spoken content of a talk given to an audience okay so the person who is presenting the presentation he can control when the information appears he can control how it appears he can keep images in it he can keep text in it he can keep animation in it he has a huge amount of tools that he can use to present his information to the audience okay so examples of presentation software we have something known as prezi we have something known as open office impress we also know know of microsoft powerpoint okay like this there are many examples i have just mentioned two over here our next category of application software is something known as control applications now if you do remember in chapter 1 we learned of control devices and we learned that control devices are output devices they make something happen in the physical environment we learned of devices like pistons we learned of devices like motors actuators valves okay so these are devices that makes something happen in the physical world now the instructions on how these control devices work is done by control applications okay let me write explain from here control applications are used to make something happen in the physical environment this type of software is often used to automate the movement of control devices or actuators such as motors okay so control software takes input input from one or more sensors makes a decision based on the input value and then output something such as a command as a result okay so the sensor gives an input it tells the situation then control application will make a decision okay based on this input this is what has to take place and then it informs the control devices to uh, do whatever has to be done okay so let me give you a simple example over here astronauts on the international space station use control software using control software using control applications on their laptop they are control they are move, uh, to move a robotic arm into position in order to capture a supply capsule okay so this is being controlled by a software that is running over here in this laptop and the various other devices that have been fixed here okay so the software that is being used to control these physical devices is what we call control application then moving on to uh, another example that has been given here lift doors are opened and closed automatically by control software when a sensor detects that the lift is level with the door and has stopped there okay so once the sensor detects that the lift and the floor are at the same level it informs the control application the control application then then will inform the control device to open the door so uh, the Did you know fact is given over here some smartphone apps can control internet connected devices in certain situations for example if the smartphone calculates that its location is within 10 meters of a garage door it will send an instruction via the internet to the garage door motors to turn on and open the door so 
So I told you in chapter one we learned when you have components of a house connected to the internet and you can control those components through the internet or from the internet. It is known as a smart home. Okay. So for example, if your garage door can be controlled from your mobile phone through the internet. Uh, while you are approaching your house 10 meters away from your house for example using your mobile phone you can send an instruction for the garage door to open so uh, next we move on to a final part of application software which is project management software so what does project management software do it is used to help plan and track the individual tasks in a project so that project managers can make the most efficient use of the available resources. So when there is a project to be completed, let's say for example there is a building to be built, for example there is so many activities uh, to be done. So sometimes it becomes very difficult for one person to track what's happening in the project. It becomes difficult for one person to manage the entire project. So what they can do is they can use something which we call project management software. So what does project management software do? It helps to plan and track the individual tasks that take place in a project. Okay, so that the project manager, by just using this software, he can make sure that all his employees are being used efficiently. All the resources that have been given to him, such as tools, such as money, okay, he can make sure that these resources are being, you know, efficiently being used. Now, if you look over here, it says project management applications can be used to allocate tasks to individual people or groups of people. They often provide the option for individuals or groups of people to be allocated to more than one task. So using project management software, you can decide which employee to send for which task. You can also make one employee attend to two, three tasks. Okay, Doing it manually might be very difficult, but using a software, the software would automatically tell you what is the best way to run the project. Okay. So some project management applications also provide tools for tracking the cost and arranging for resources to be delivered on time. Okay. If you look at this screenshot over here, you can see a bunch of items need to be done. So starting from January 18th all the way up to February 18th, what is going to happen? How long is each activity going to go on for? Okay. So this is what you call a Gantt chart, or often used to visualize the timelines and milestones for the individual task in a project, okay? So simply speaking, a project management software is the best software in order to manage a project, to plan and track the tasks that are going to be taking place in a project. Then next, what do we have? We have something known as a communication software. Communication software provides a remote access to system and allow users to contact people using the internet. It can be used to send files and messages as text, images, audio, and video. So these are all categories of communication software. Under each of these categories, there are many brands that we can mention. So for example, under web browsing software, we can talk about Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge. Under email, we can talk about Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo Mail. Okay. Under social media, we can talk about Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Under SMS, SMS is one, it's your short messaging service. Then if you want to send images and videos through using SMS, we call it MMS, which is Multimedia Messaging Service. Then you have certain apps which do instant messaging, okay, like for example, Viber, WhatsApp. Then you have certain apps which can do video conferencing for you, like for example, Skype. Even WhatsApp falls into that category. WhatsApp also allows you to do video conferencing. You can talk about Zoom. Then another communication software is online gaming. Using online gaming, you can actually communicate with your friends online. Okay. So under communication software, there are many categories, and each of these categories has many examples. Uh, question from the 2011 past paper: A company wants to calculate staff wages. The most appropriate type of software to use is, we're talking about calculations. So the best option will be spreadsheet software. Whenever it comes to calculations, spreadsheet software is always your best choice. Next, uh, Mrs. Dale uses the internet to buy clothes for her children. Identify the type of software that must be installed on Mrs. Dale's computer to enable her to access websites selling children's clothes. So, so in order to access websites, 
you will be definitely requiring a web browser please don't ever write any brand names don't come and write google chrome here do not write internet explorer here okay brand names are not accepted do not accept you have to mention the category okay web browsing software the type of software you use to write a letter is so the best type of software to write a letter is word processing software which one of the following is an example of application software the ram is a hardware device the answer is going to be web authoring software web authoring software is software used to create a web page or a web site operating system comes under system software then moving on to the next one jonas communicates with his friends using an internet chat room identify two other methods of communicating over the internet so when it comes to communic communicating over the internet there are many options we have we can use for example instant messaging you can use social networking you can use online gaming you can use video conferencing okay, these are all methods that you can use to communicate over the internet the software needed to send an email is not presentation not web authoring web authoring is used to construct a web page to send an email we will be using communication software a supermarket uses a computer model to predict the number of checkouts to open at various times the software for this is we are talking about predicting something which means we are using calculations so when it comes to calculations always the best type of software is spreadsheet software then moving on to this one sabir uses a pc for a range of administrative tasks he wants to produce a letter identify the most appropriate type of software to use so you're asking us for the type the best type for producing a letter is word processing software so please keep in mind you should not be mentioning any brand names okay microsoft word or lotus one two uh, sorry lo this uh, word mentioning for example uh, writer or microsoft word would not be accepted because brand names are strictly prohibited a small company based on a single site needs to update its current ict provision the company has employed a consultant to help plan the project decide on the most appropriate system to buy and implement the new system the consultant uses software to plan and track the steps necessary to complete the project on time identify the most appropriate type of software to use so we are talking about planning a project so obviously the answer is going to be project management software give two pieces of information that would be shown in the plan so using project management software he has to produce a plan so they are asking what uh, two pieces of information that would be shown in the plan so in the plan for example he can mention the amount of time that is required to complete the project then he can mention the resources that he would require then he can mention for example the tasks that would have to be done in order for the project to be completed he can mention for example how much of uh finance so how much of money he would require in order to complete the project okay he can what you call you can say he can mention the expenses so if you look over here the answers are given timeline or a uh, what do you call complete date time to complete the project then the tasks that have to be done the, the order of the task the staff he would need the resources he would need the finance he would need so our next part is uh, software licensing we will be continuing this in our next video in the meantime if you could please answer from question number uh, question number 12 sorry question number 11 all the way down to question number 13